Hello there, my name is Vitor and this is the part 2 of my Astromech Droid build. So I really recommend you to watch the first episode. I really recommend you to watch the first episode so you can understand what I'm doing here. In the last episode, I showed you guys the whole structure build, his body, legs, dome, and the motors. Now, it's time to deal with the electronic system. My droid weights almost 20 pounds, so it needs a very powerful motor. I'm using two electric window motors. They are perfect for this job, they are very strong, cheap, and work with 12 volts. His power supply is a rechargeable 12 volts and 9 amperes no brake battery. It will give us enough current to power the motors and the rest of the electronics. So this is the back of the robot and here we have uh, two wires we are connected to the battery terminals. We have positive and negative and I can easily disconnect here these wires and recharge the battery. The rotating dome is one of the most iconic parts of an astromech droid. In order to make this work, I'm using a 3 volts DC motor with gearbox, set it up in the edge of his body. So when this wheel makes contact with the dome, the dome will spin around its own center, because the center of the dome is connected to the body by a PVC pipe, like a battery. This part was built to be easily removed from the droid. This is where you can find its most important modules and circuits. In the last video I told you guys that I control my droid with Bluetooth signals. And that's right, I control it from my cell phone. This is an app, you can install it for free using the Google Play and that's right, that's the remote controller of my Astromech Droid. For an example, when I press a button in my remote control, this Bluetooth module will receive a signal and will send it to the Arduino Mega, responsible to interpret the message and make decisions based on the uploaded program. It will eventually send commands to the other modules. It could be the aid bridge that controls the motors, or the SD card reader responsible for the audio system, a relay, or a simple LED. Well, this is a completely custom droid, made out of recycled materials. It can be easily adapted to make any simple task, like carrying objects, cleaning your house, fixing Imperial walkers, controlling spaceships... Hey man, I think it's not possible. Okay, okay. Your lack of creativity is disturbing. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this build as I did. Turns out I have learned a lot of things during this one year making this droid. And I really hope I have somehow inspired you to build that thing you always wanted. Like a Star Wars robot, I don't know, maybe. 
So if you want to see more projects like this, you can subscribe, leave the thumbs up and share with your friends. Maybe they get inspired too. I guess I see you next time and may the force be with you.